What comes to mind when you hear the name Saudi Arabia? Oil, royal family, war with Yemen, all of the above? Well, every coin has two sides. And when Saudi Arabia opened its doors to tourists a few short months before the start of the pandemic, I jumped at the opportunity and decided to go there and to explore the other side of that coin. You see, Saudi Arabia has been traditionally closed to tourism, so this was a great opportunity to see something truly off the beaten path. The first site I wanted to visit was rock art in the hill region and as you can see I could not get in. The reason it was not ready. It was closed, fenced off. All I could do is to walk a little bit around and it definitely looked amazing but there was no way to get in. But instead of admiring the ancient art I was able to admire this peculiar piece is the bucket that is several times bigger than me and some other pieces of street art and I never found out the purpose of this so I guess it's just a contemporary street art and the next was the archaeological site of Al Hijr also called Madain Salih and as they say it features well-preserved monumental tombs with decorated facades dating from the 1st century BC to the 1st century AD. The site also features some 50 inscriptions of the pre nabatean period and some cave drawings. Well, I could only imagine and look at some pictures because it was a complete disaster. What happened? When I came there, there was a army or police, I don't know, men in uniforms with AK-47s. And they said, it's closed, no one allowed in unless you have a government permit. And you don't argue with men with AK-47s. As they say, third time is a charm and this certainly was a success, probably my highlight from the whole trip to Saudi Arabia. Historic Jeddah, Old Town. It was a major port for Indian Ocean trade routes, channeling goods to Mecca. It was also the gateway for Muslim pilgrims to Mecca who arrived by sea. And today it's really really nice being restored a lot of work has been already done a lot of work still needs to be done but you can see already the results it's simply amazing see saudi arabia officially the kingdom of saudi arabia is a huge huge country if i remember correctly it is the 12th largest in the world approximately 2 million square kilometers which comes to about 800,000 square miles and it's the only country with a coastline along both the red sea and the persian gulf most of its terrain consists of desert lowland steppes and mountains its capital and largest city is Riyadh, with Mecca and Medina serving as important cultural and religious centers. Both Mecca and Medina are the first and second most important Muslim sites in the world. The Islam emerged in modern-day Saudi Arabia in the early 7th century and the Prophet Muhammad united the population of Arabia and created a single Islamic religious uh, polity. What may be surprising to many many people is that the kingdom of Saudi Arabia is actually not that old. It only came to existence was founded in 1932 by King, King Abdul Aziz and petroleum or oil 
as it is called in the United States, was discovered in 1938 and it changed the history of Saudi Arabia and it had an influence on the history of the world. What I have decided to do is, since the country is so huge and of course my time was limited, to visit UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Saudi Arabia. They have six of them and I picked five that I wanted to visit. Al-Aqsa has been inhabited since prehistoric times due to its abundance of water in an otherwise dry region. Natural freshwater springs have surfaced at oases in the region for thousands of years, encouraging human habitation and agricultural efforts. Date palm cultivation, especially since prehistoric times. Al Hofuf is, a, is the major city in the Al Aqsa oasis in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia with a population of about 900,000, maybe a million people. It is known for being one of the largest date producers in the world and for its own souks and palaces. And here is one of the souks or markets. And uh, people were very friendly, curious about me as I was curious about them. There were beautiful sites in the city and around these are date palms and I have decided to lend my hand to some local folks who taught me how to pick dates and it was quite fun I have to say and in the oasis uh, there were uh, some beautiful rock formations in some sites and it was really really interesting very very nice and after all day finally i decided to go back to the hotel and have some rest at turaif historic district is regarded as one of the important political and historical sites in saudi arabia it represented the capital of saudi dynasty was the original home of the Saudi royal family and the country's first capital from 1744 to 1818. At that time, it was abandoned until 2000. And uh, as you can see, it's closed, couldn't get in. It's a major, major uh, reconstruction, construction site. They are trying to make it an entertainment center of Saudi Arabia. So, what can I say? Couldn't get in. Out of the five sites uh, in Saudi Arabia, I could get only into old city of Jeddah. So now, I think I will go downtown Riyadh. Uh, walk around. I'm not really interested in the malls and uh, such, but since I'm already here, I'll take a walk, look around, take some pictures, and I'll be heading to the airport. So, as I am sitting at the airport waiting for my departure time, I'm contemplating the whole trip was it a success would i do it again and the answer is yes i liked it very much it was awesome even though i didn't see completely all the size that i wanted i still really liked what i saw would i come again well it's a little bit tricky question i would come absolutely if someone paid for the trip. Why? Well, I liked it, but there are so many other countries and places that I haven't seen yet, so I think this was my first and last trip. But as I said, it was great and I really liked it. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time.